Hello student, this is the third class of the cost analysis. You will get the link of the first two videos and the notes in the description box. Now see, last day I have discussed about AFC, average fixed cost. I have said that average fixed cost is a downward sloping curve. Why? Because it is the average of total fixed cost and output. As output increases, keeping total fixed cost peak. So, what will happen as a result? As a consequence, the ratio falls. As a result, average cost is a downward sloping. Now, the question is that, what is the shape of the average fixed cost curve? See, the shape of the average fixed cost curve is rectangular hyperbola. The shape of the average fixed cost curve is rectangular hyperbola. Means, at, from the very beginning, it will start falling. But after a certain period of time, the movement of the curve become very slow or very negligible but it cannot be zero means it cannot touch x-axis because the total fixed cost cannot be zero. As total fixed cost cannot be zero, so average fixed cost cannot be zero also. It will never ever touch the x-axis. Okay, so what is the shape of, name of the shape of the average fixed cost? The name of the shape of the average fixed cost is rectangular hyperbola. Okay, now coming to the next cost that we know very well that is known as AVC, average variable cost. Now see, average variable cost, what is the nature of the average variable cost? First, when the production start, the average variable cost start falling. Okay, tell me. Afterwards, it reaches, why falling afterwards, I am telling. Afterwards, it reaches its minimum point. Oh, afterwards, it start rising. So, what I have said, at first or initially, when the production start, the average cost starts falling. Afterwards, it reaches to its minimum point. See, here in the diagram, it reaches to its minimum point. Afterwards, it starts increasing. So, what is the shape of the car? The shape of the car is U-shaped. Now, the question is that I have given in my notes, why is A, B, C, U-shaped? What is happening? At first, the fixed factor is also there and the variable factor is there. I have already discussed the contribution of the fixed factor that is the TFC or AFC is much more than the TVC or ABC. So what happened initially when the average variable cost or the variable cost total or average same here variable input will be employed on the fixed factor the fixed factor absorb the what variable input for an example in a fixed plot of land when the labor one two three will be employed what will happen the plot of land will absorb them or utilize them very properly. So, the efficiency of the variable factor at the initial stage of production is highly active. They are very efficient. But as the rate of absorption by the fixed factor towards the variable factor increases, the efficiency level of the variable factor declines. Again telling as the production continues, then what will happen? The fixed factor absorb the variable factors very rapidly. As a result, the efficiency level of the variable factor falls. Means, suppose in a fixed plot of land, up to 5 units of level 
If the lever will be employed up to the 5 unit of level, what will happen? It will give a fruitful result. Means the plot of land will absorb this 5 units of labor very efficiently. Okay? Now, if, then what will happen? After certain period of time, what we will see that most of the land has been cultivated. Only a very few amount of land will remain for cultivation. In that stage, if more and more labor will be provided or will be employed on the fixed factor of land, what will happen? The absorbing capacity of the fixed factor will fall because fixed factor has already absorbed the maximum amount of variable factor. As a result, the efficiency rate of the variable factor falls. As it falls down, it increases. Clear? So, this concept is applicable both on TVC uh, as well as AVC. When the production starts, initially what will happen? TVC and AVC both. Please write it down here. We can write TVC and AVC both are started falling. Why they, they will start falling? Because the fixed factor, suppose land, they, it is absorbing this variable factor very well. Okay, when you are hungry, then what you will do? You will absorb the food very well at first. When your tummy will get almost filled up, then what will happen? You will try to reject the food. Yes, and when it will be completed, what will happen? You will, re you will refuse to take the food. Means the efficiency level of the food or what you, we can say, the food taking capacity of the, of the human being decline, same thing is happening. That is the absorbing capacity of the fixed factor, that is the land, it declines. If more and more level of variable input like labor will be employed or deployed on it. Okay, so as a result, what will happen? Initial stage, the average variable cost declines because its efficiency level is more. After a certain means, after reaching its max minimum point, what will happen? It starts increasing. Means its efficiency level will decrease. If more and more or additional amount of variable input will be employed on the fixed factor, what will happen? It efficiency level falls and the cost starts increasing. So, as initially TVC and AVC start declining, reaches its minimum point, after that it starts increasing. So, the shape of the curve is U-shaped. Am I clear? Okay. Understood? You will get everything as notes. Now coming, another thing we have done already that is called MC. Marginal cost. Marginal cost is not average of anything. Marginal cost is, it shows the change. Remember, marginal cost is only appear when there is a variable for Fixed cost cannot produce marginal cost. Only the variable cost produce marginal cost. What is the meaning of marginal? Marginal means change. Delta. What is that? Change in total cost due to change in one additional unit of output produced. Here we are talk, talking about the positive, positivity of Q means the output will increase. We are not talking about the negativity of the Q. So when the more and more output if what will be the change in the total cost if more and more output will be added. Suppose I am producing 5 units and my total cost is 20. Okay, when I am producing 6 units, my total cost is 22. So, what is my MC? What formula given? Delta TC means change in TC. What is that? 2 
What is equal to Q? Six to five. One. So, what is my result? What is my MC? Clear? So, MC shows the change in total cost due to change in output. Okay? MC shape of MC is also like Like which curve? Like ABC or ABC curve means at first it falls. Then it started its minimum point then start increasing. Okay. So MC is also U-shaped curve. Remember that MC is only related to the variable cost. It is not connected with fixed cost. So, if there is no production, then what will happen? There is no occurrence of MC. Clear? So, what we have understood? We have understood the shapes of the three curves. One, I have said about AFC. AFC is a what? Average of TFC. As TFC remain fixed, so what will happen? AFC is falling. So, average fixed cost per unit is variable. Write down this line. The average fixed cost per unit is variable and its shape is rectangular hyperbola. Next one, we have say, discussed about the ABC cost. Initially, ABC cost falls when its efficiency remains at a higher level. Afterwards, when its efficiency falls, because the absorption capacity of, is why its efficiency fall? Because the absorption capacity of the fixed factor falls down. Then what will happen? ABC increases. Third one, MC. What I have said? Change in total cost due to change in additional unit of output reduced. That is delta PC by delta Q. MC follows the same characteristics of ABC. As a result, it is also what you shape. In the next class, I will discuss about the relationship between MC, AC and ABC. Okay? Thank you.